Will AMD's upcoming Ryzen 2000 series CPUs use solder or TIM like their newer APUs? Plus, the company is loaning out APUs? So yeah, there's that and Intel is getting serious about gaming. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. For those who may not know, AMD recently launched desktop APUs. There was one problem some people had with them though. Their die didn't come soldered to the IHS like they did with first generation Ryzen. Instead, they used TIM or thermal interface materials similar to Intel. It seemed to be done to cut costs. And since their APUs do come incredibly well priced and are more for the lower end desktop market, it's understandable. The issue is that while there actually can be good reasons to use TIM over solder, some users do prefer solder as being more of a premium add-on. This led those to worry about AMD's next generation Ryzen 2000 series. Well, fret not, because Robert Hallett confirmed on Reddit that quote, second gen Ryzen will use solder. There's really not much else to say about it other than the fact that it's great to see the company still aims for great quality while also maintaining a fantastic price. Next up for today, if you purchased one of AMD's newest Ryzen desktop APUs, but you're running off their last gen 300 series motherboards, you may have been left with a problem. Specifically, you just might have an unbootable computer. Basically, if you want that shiny new APU to work on first gen AM4 motherboards, you'll have to update your BIOS. Unfortunately, that requires you to actually boot with a recognizable CPU. I will say some more premium motherboards are able to update the BIOS without a CPU, but most can't. This is leaving some users with an obvious problem. Luckily, AMD has confirmed that for this particular issue, and keep that in mind, I'm not talking other problems leading to boot issues, only this particular issue. The company is loaning out AM4 Bristol Ridge APUs through what they're calling a boot kit. Once you get the older APU, simply install it into your board so you can update the BIOS. Then it'll recognize your new APU. It's that simple. Lastly, Intel's newest graphics driver for their integrated GPU comes with a nice surprise. Similar to Nvidia Shadowplay or Radeon's Adrenaline software, the new driver actually comes with a feature that lets you automatically optimize the game's settings for their integrated GPUs. The feature works for their 6th gen iGPUs and above. What's interesting is that it also includes support for their newest chip with AMD's RX Vega M solution. Unfortunately, it only comes with a few games for now. But of course, this is a new thing for Intel, so give it some time and I'm sure that list will grow. Not only that, but if you go to gameplay.intel.com, you can find recommended settings on a ton more games. To get their newest graphics driver, I'll have the download linked in the description below. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Excited AMD went with solder or just happy Intel is working on improving their software for gamers? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things gaming and hardware, news and reviews. And as always, have a great day.